Hey guys, this video, like the number six, comes to you in six parts. Part one, punishments. So Melissa, I just finished watching your video and it made me LOL for real. I did sort of volunteer to get a punishment and I am excited to get a punishment. I don't know what that says about me, but I might just make this video one minute over the limit. We'll see. Part two, 13 little blue envelopes. I have about 10 pages left of the book I'm currently on, so when I finish that tonight, I get to start this, and I'm so excited. Well, I've already read a little bit of it at Borders, but it was so good, and I'm so excited to read the whole thing. Part 3, Hermione Granger, Sorcerer's Stone hairdo. I've got it. By the way, I would have said slash Philosopher's Stone, except that the movie was named Sorcerer's Stone, and I was going by the movie since we know that Hermione's hair is bushy in the book. We don't really know how bushy it is. Part 4, Thoughts from Places. I enjoyed watching all of you guys' videos and I do agree that we need to make it more often. It took forever to end mine, like over 4 hours. I don't think I've ever worked so hard on anything, ever. But I honestly think it was worth it. Maggie, you're so lucky to be in Spain. Everything was really beautiful, but I'm glad that you still missed your home and you still wouldn't trade it for anything. And I agree with you with what you said about how you couldn't live away from water. Uh, even though I don't really live anywhere near like a large body of water, I still like having a lake nearby. Lisa, I'm so jealous that you get to use public transportation. I know that sounds really weird, but I have to drive to school every day. It's always so lonely and boring, and sometimes I wish that I could just put all the burden of getting me somewhere safely to another person, and all I would have to worry about is just looking out the window. Alex, I normally don't like change. Sometimes I even try to avoid it, but you're right that it is inevitable. And sometimes the things that I dread the most turn out to be the greatest things that happen. Danielle, I agree with everyone that your campus is really beautiful, but I also hope that you manage to make some really close friends, not just this year, but in the course of your college years. Busy, wow, thank you for showing us all that great footage. It was kind of scary. It looked like something bad could have happened at any moment. Part 5, the other theme for this week. So I guess we're supposed to show something that represents us, and I'm going to show this shelf that I have right here. It's kind of messy, but here it is. I have some camera cleaning stuff over here. Here's a camera. I have some film books for uh, my film classes. Notebooks. Um, there's a makeup thing. Here's a Hagrid. Here's the crane. Here's some doodles. Uh, here's a chord chart. So I think this represents me. There's nerdy stuff, Harry Potter, my life. There's some music, makeup, you know, films. And I, lo I love uh, cameras. Part 6, Nerdfighter Gathering. So I don't remember why I didn't have a chance to tell you guys about this stuff, but about two weeks ago, there was a Nerdfighter Gathering here in St. Louis, and about six of us showed up, I think. Oh no, seven, seven, eight, including my sister. But we went to the art museum, and then we went to our science center, and it was, it was pretty fun. I thought it was fun. So yeah, that was my video. Danielle, tomorrow, DFTBA.